hello, I'm so, it's very surreal to be in front of everybody here today and to be talking about one of my favorite topics ever. Uh, so today I wanted to share with you the story of Keiko Abe. Keiko Abe is essentially um, colloquially referred to as the mother of the modern marimba. Her work as a marimba virtuoso, a composer, and a pedagogue uh, in Shofu, Japan, where she is based, is the catalyst for essentially art for the public good. When I heard that we were going to be doing something about art and music for the public good, first thing I was like, okay, well, I have to play and I have to share Keiko's music with everybody. The second thing I was just like, well, it's Keiko Abe. You know, she is the absolute springboard for most of percussion pedagogy that exists today. Um, I mean, the marimba is something that, especially here at BGSU, we need to uh, maintain proficiency on to actually get our degrees to get on out of here and go into the professional world. And, uh, you know, before 1968, that wasn't even a thing. So um, I'm just going to share with you three little bits of information that I think that you can tuck into your pockets and take home with you about Keiko Abe. You know, uh, let you listen to what I have to play for, uh, from, from her works. And uh, I'll share the information. You can go home and look up the rest of the music for yourself. Uh, so her work as a composer and a commissioner is super important. Uh, she has contributed through her compositions and commissions from other composers hundreds of works for this instrument, both in a solo and a chamber setting. Throughout her life, that is a lot of music to be writing and organizing. So uh, a bulk of our repertoire still stems from her. And if it weren't for her, you know, composers wouldn't have latched onto her compositional ideas and those of her contemporaries that essentially were the, uh, the big wash of marimba repertoire that we got post-1969, um, post-1970. Uh, so the second, the second thing is her work as a performer. Uh, Keiko Abe gave the first ever classical contemporary marimba solo uh, in 1968 in, I believe it was, uh, I believe it was Shibuya, but I could be wrong on that. <laughs> uh, she, essentially the whole concert was a program of premieres. It was new works for this instrument. And then uh, thirdly, her work as an innovator and as a pedagogue, uh, currently she teaches at the Toho Gakuen School of Music in Shofu, Japan. I've had the pleasure of going to study with her over the summers and uh, to perform with her. It's an absolute immense honor to play with her and to uh, play for her contemporaries and her colleagues who are also legends in this field. And uh, lastly, her uh, work as an innovator. She teamed up after her recital. Um, all of the works for Marimba were strictly written for anything within the span of three to four octaves. Well, after her first marimba recital, she wanted the uh, she wanted the reverberance to sort of carry. So she teamed up with Yamaha and organized a project that would expand this instrument to the five octaves that you see today so we can get this nice low end. So um, I want to play a piece for you all today. It's her uh, 1998 marimba solo, Marimba de Moore, certainly my favorite of her works. And um, it's going to take up the rest of my presentation, so strap in. I hope you enjoy it.
Thank you.